So here we are. We're back at it. Everyone have a good week off? You're welcome. <laughs> if you don't know, uh, I, I tested positive for COVID. Uh, woo, like woo. 10, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, it's, yeah, that, okay. And uh, yeah, I tested positive for COVID. When was it, Rob? 10 days ago, 12, 15 days ago? Yeah, 12 days ago. 12 days ago. Yeah, wow. I had to quarantine all of last week. So this is our first show back in the studio. Um, it was, it was, yeah, thanks. We're thrilled to be here. I was incredibly lucky. I, I was, I was I'm very grateful. I, I'm vaccinated, boosted, and I, I really do feel that because of that, I, I had barely any symptoms. I felt fine the entire time. But thank you to anyone who sent a message or the check-in calls, the texts, the, the reply-alls to every staff-wide email from Tim Young. It was really, <laughs> really appreciative. When I, because so I was here in the building, when I, so I tested negative the day before, I was here in the building, tested positive and obviously had to leave and go home. And as I was leaving, as I'm walking down the thing, I put two masks on, I'm getting out of here as quick as I can. As I was walking past the offices, I could hear I don't know who it was. I could hear someone in the office going, what's the weather like in Carbo? <laughs> and there'd been like a thing saying, look, everyone's gonna work from home, but we're really just trying to try and come up with like good stuff for the show in the next few weeks. What's the weather like in Is it nice? <laughs> oh, I found a room. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Reg, did you get a lot of work from home done? Yeah, I, I just, instantly did every single major car reviewer's podcast. In my <laughs> You're the Nick Bernstein of car reviews. Yeah, yeah. But it was fun. I had some amazing drives. I saw incredible cars. M met Jay Leno. Uh, oh, that's like, right. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You, did, you did the show. You did the Jay no. Leno's Garage. No, I'm going to. I'm going oh. to. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. hang on. You met Jay Leno before you did his show? I met Jay Leno. just hanging out with Jay Leno Because now. he hangs out in, at the Malibu car meetup on Sundays. It was it was crazy. Like, Hang I met... on, it's a meetup on yeah. Sunday mornings. Yeah. It's... People just roll down with like unbelievable cars. It's insane. Like you go there and you're like seeing a million dollar 1940s Mercedes SLS and then there's a, a, a McLaren Senna just sitting there. Like one of the rarest cars. It's just crazy. It's like mind blowing. And then I immediately was like, I get to talk about all the car stuff. And I'm, you know, and it's okay. <laughs> Not crazy. And it's okay. That's it's okay. it. You found your people. I found it's my... okay. It's like me when I talk about Broadway musicals. There you go. I can't do it with a lot of people in this room. Yeah. yeah. It's wasted on you. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else do? Who did anybody else take advantage of the week off and do something incredibly fun? <laughs> Tom, what about you? What'd you get up to? Anything fun? Um, I don't think there was anything exciting. I'm, I'm recovering from a broken nose. <laughs> oh. So. What happened? Uh, I took a spill over the, uh, the, the December hiatus at a friend's, uh, friend's Christmas party. It took a, uh, a pretty hard fall on a wet stone patio. Luckily, I was not concussed because my nose took the entire brunt of the fall. Oh, man. Drunk? I was. I had had some drinks. Tipsy. <laughs> so what do they do? You go somewhere and they like... <clears throat> I well, didn't think there was anything you could do with a broken nose. Yeah, uh, immediately we had to leave the party. That, um, so I left the party, and then everyone was like, oh, people at the party. I, also, I didn't know the host of the party or anybody else at the party. Oh, except, wow. Except for my girlfriend. Oh, wow, so, that's brutal. Yeah, yeah that so, is awful. Yeah. When you don't know anyone and something happens to you, I remember being in London, being out at a place and not knowing anyone, and someone going, oh, come with us to this... You should come with us to this thing. And I end up in a cab with like five people I don't know, have never met, <laughs> drunk beyond belief, thinking, well, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. And we walked up, a, up this thing, and we were all talking and stuff like that, and I went to open a door, went through that door, and didn't realise that there was a glass door the other side of it, right? <laughs> so I opened, and I was talking like this, and I opened the door, and, I, and as hard as you can imagine, Walking into a door is how I walked into a door. <laughs> I literally went like this and I went bang, like that. And it made such a noise, the glass went blah, 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 like that. <laughs> and I was so dizzy 
that I was like this, and all I could think was, you have to style this out as best <laughs> you can. And I immediately said the words, I'm fine. I want to say I said the words, I'm fine, 50 times. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. And then did that thing of like, going, <laughs> <laughs> cracking up and none of these people I knew were looking at me and I had to leave as soon as we got in I was like I've got to get out of here I'm I am in agony that, you, you, you moved to America because of that right that was it <laughs> <laughs> you just had to I wrap had to up. get out. Yeah, your whole I, time it, Whenever I'm somewhere in London, I'm like, were they there? <laughs> <laughs> it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> Verizon and AT&T agreed today to postpone tomorrow's planned rollout of their new 5G networks. Major airlines had warned of a, quote, catastrophic disruption to travel, saying 5G has the potential to interfere with aviation equipment. I'm sorry, airlines, this never would have happened if Boingo hotspots were more reliable. <laughs> <laughs> Boingo. It's as simple as that. Oh, wow. It's as simple oh, wow. as that. They never saw it through, did they? If they'd have seen it through with the Boingo hotspots, <laughs> none of this would have happened. Can you imagine bringing the nation's infrastructure to its knees because you needed a faster way to send a gif of Jim from the office? <laughs> Probably doing this. <laughs> Apparently, there are technical concerns with the way 5G affects flight instruments. When they heard this, Spirit Airlines were like, hang on, wait a minute, what are flight instruments? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, the Winter Olympics in Beijing are set to begin in just a few weeks, and multiple countries have issued an unusual warning to their athletes. They're being told to leave their phones at home to avoid being spied upon by the Chinese government. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. If I've spent my entire life preparing to compete in the Olympics and you tell me I can't take my phone, I'm out, I'm dropping out, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, I know, Mum, thank you. Thank you for driving me to the skating rink every morning at 5 a.m., but this is non-negotiable. <laughs> Many countries are advising athletes to keep their devices off Wi-Fi networks and use burner phones if possible. Basically, if you're competing in the Olympics, it's cocaine dealer rules. <laughs> That's what it is. Three calls, put it in the microwave, bang, done. <laughs> Now, I will say, if you're not an Olympic athlete and you'd like to experience what it's like to have to do your job without Wi-Fi, just come down here to Television City. <laughs> It'll be... Absolutely, you'll really get the full... <laughs> you'll get the full experience. Like, we'll let you just in the lot, get on the Wi-Fi, and you will, you'll immediately look upon Boingo hotspots with... <laughs> with a new level of respect. <laughs> Nick, why is the Wi-Fi so bad in this building? I, I, don't, I don't have an answer for you for that. That's not my jurisdiction, unfortunately. Well, yeah, OK, if you, you don't start talking about jurisdiction, there is nothing, <laughs> there is nothing here that's under your jurisdiction. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Even that wow. chair isn't under your jurisdiction. It's got my name but on it. But have you never thought to, like... Cos all we've got as a show is to go to Steve Lustig. <laughs> Who basically goes, oh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> and you go, Steve, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he goes, literally goes like this. I know. <laughs> Talk talking to the IT guy here is like talking to Mariah Carey's manager, where it's like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like working today. And <laughs> yeah. you're like, all right. <laughs> Have you never thought to get to the bottom of it, Nick? Uh, I haven't, <laughs> but my Wi-Fi usually works pretty well. <laughs> Not, I don't... <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> not, I don't know why. I don't know why mine is... OK. Different. Your Wi-Fi works pretty well. <laughs> Show of hands within the team. We all work here every day. Who else here's Wi-Fi would you consider works pretty well? <laughs> Yours, yours doesn't work well, Reg. Well, if you've got, I bet you've got your own router in there, I imagine. No, I mean, I, you know, it's, I always think it's not going to, but then I'm watching my Apple TV, you know, um, other shows like on ABC and other networks, and I'm... I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Works great. You're right, the TV the streaming TV works good. does work well. That, that works well. That does work well. Yeah. That's actually what I have a problem with, because there's a, there, <laughs> oftentimes when I am watching other networks, I just get the little direct TV bouncing ball, which is really strange considering the It's a great story. Um, <laughs> I had to cut you off because Adam Devine's got a very similar story on the oh, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is interesting. According to a new study, face masks make you more attractive. Researchers discovered that people found faces significantly more attractive when covered by masks than when not covered at all, which does explain the rise of Nick Bernstein during this <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> But looking now at the team, looking now at the team whose faces I know and love, I don't, I, I disagree with this. I disagree with this. Mm. I'm constantly annoyed that I can't see, you know. Oh, right. All of Jared's face. Yeah. Jared is not better looking with a mask on. That's what I, look at that. Woof. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jared. Yeah. It's those green eyes. When you meet someone and you don't know what they look like, I think in your imagination, don't you find you imagine them to be, like, incredibly good-looking? Are exactly. you saying that you don't the face imagine mark is... someone to be? I'm just saying I think you you're optimistic with your imagination. So when you 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 haven't met someone, you imagine them to be. Britney. Attractive. Nick, I never thought I'd say this. Can you tell me more about that bouncing ball? <laughs> Finally, there's a new YouTube record to tell you about the first video to reach 10 billion views. <laughs> Nick, what do you think the most viewed? 10 billion views on YouTube, what do you reckon? It's, it's probably something like Baby Shark, right? It's exactly Baby Shark, oh, well done. Bernstein. Look at that, that's why, that's exactly. why. Exactly. That's why he gets the good Wi-Fi, because his finger is <laughs> right there, it's huh. there, baby. 10 billion views to which parents everywhere said, yes, we know. <laughs> Remember when people thought that the internet would like be famous for ushering in a new age of information and enlightenment? Yes. And instead the internet famously destroyed the concept of fact-based truth. Yes. And gave us the most annoying song of all time. <laughs> Yes. Baby Shark is one of the biggest viral sensations in the world. So, of course, he's taking the next logical step. He's going to go head to head with Logan Paul in a boxing match. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back with Adam Devine and Nev Campbell, everybody. Nice to see you.